Hey y'all, I'm bringing y'all today to a facility that we're real proud of here in Savannah. And it's called Union Mission. And it has helped many people through the years uh, that are homeless. And uh, there has always been one for men, y'all. But the building that we're coming in today, it's not quite complete. But for the first time, there's going to be living facilities for women as well as the men. So that is wonderful that that's happening. And, uh, you know, I have a foundation. My company has a foundation called the Bag Lady Foundation. And our Bag Lady Foundation supports Union Mission. We uh, try to help them as much as we can. See, construction still going on. So come on in and we're gonna meet the people that make this happen. So friends, y'all come on in. This is Suzanne. This is Mike. You know Teresa. And this is Mark. So I explained to people where we were coming. And I explained to them that we believe in y'all so much that the Paula Dean Bag Lady Foundation helps support y'all as we can do it. So tell everybody. And I also explained that there's never been a uh, lodging for women up until now, and it's almost completed, y'all. But the men's has uh, provided that since very first, hadn't they? Yeah, so Union Mission started out as a soup kitchen and, okay. and with Grace House across the street for uh -huh. com company men. And, you know, homelessness has really been focused around men. And, right. you know, then it, well, then it branched out. out of me and yeah. that. But now there's a lot of families that need help, and there's a lot of what we call unaccompanied homeless women, which are single women that are out mm -hmm. on the street. And mm -hmm. where we live, 180 on average night here in Chatham County. 180 uh, women? Women are homeless in Chatham County on an average night. And there's no facility just for oh. single women to come to. Where are they staying? They're staying on the street, they're staying on sofas, motels, in their car, etc., under bridges, and so... I've noticed that one of the bridges is, looks like a hotel. So, but this is going to be a great thing because we're going to serve 100 women a year, and our job is to help them find stable housing, and we do that yes. through our wraparound services with mental health counseling, food, transportation, clothing, job assistance, that's job skills wonderful. assessments, and all. And so we think that's really important, that's and that helps get people a foundation and get them back into stable housing. And that's what our goal is at the end of the day, is stable housing. And when will y'all be ready to take the first woman in? On September 6th, we open up for the first time. September 6th, And, and uh, we have 32 beds here, and, uh, and uh, 16 bedrooms, and eight full bathrooms, et cetera, et cetera. Okay. So it's a... It's the only facility from Jacksonville, Charleston, uh -huh. the only one on the I-95 corridor in Georgia that is solely dedicated to homeless women. So we're very excited. All right. Uh, do you all have future plans to make room for more beds? Because if there's 180 homeless women on the street and only 32 beds... Right, we're gonna do our um, best, you know, because our job, they come here, we give them all that assistance, and we get them to stable housing and start taking care of more individuals. That's why we can go up to about 100 a year because this is a 90-day program okay. and during that time we get them into stable housing. Okay. So the idea is that we don't, you know, we allow people to stay the 90 days, but uh -huh. we want to give them stable housing okay. as soon as possible because they can yes. get back to get, normal get them on their feet as quickly as exactly. possible. And does this allow their children to be with them? Well, we have or? another program uh -huh. called Magdalene that has uh, women and children, and we have 20 uh -huh. beds there. And, oh, good. And good. that's over in, in Midtown Savannah. So uh -huh. Union Mission has all types of facilities from emergency housing, tra transitional housing where men stay for a longer period yeah. of time, and then we have we actually have apartments where uh, families uh, and single people live. Uh, well, so that uh, what y'all do is amazing, Mike. Uh, the question that I wanted to ask is, how long, how old is Union Mission? It was started in 1937. 
So we are 85 oh, so years it's, old. It's older than me, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so happy to be able to say that. <laughs> yeah, this so is like nothing's older yeah. than me anymore. Yeah. <laughs> so we've been here. We start off on Liberty Street uh -huh. as a soup kitchen. Uh -huh. And so we just 1980s, we opened Grace House, and here we are today. So I noticed that uh, when we were getting out of the car that Grace House uh, was across the street. I'm turned around now because I went around the corner. Yeah. Um, and is there any housing over there or is it just offices? No, we have 72 men, uh, uh -huh. room for 72 men across the street. And we have people that are emergency housing program. Mm -hmm. We have people that mm -hmm. were uh, just discharged from prison or jail. Uh -huh. We have men that are living there for a more extended period of time. They're on their feet, but not quite there yet. Mike, I'll, sh I'll share a quick little story with you. We have uh, had more than one employee for the Lady and Sons from the men coming out of mm -hmm. Union Mission. Mm -hmm. And they, I mean, they're good men, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. needed a break. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that's what we're here to help them get back on their feet, and you do a great job of helping them with giving them employment. And, um, you know, there are a lot of great folks over there. And the one thing that we're proud of is we don't, you get a job, we don't we don't say you need to leave because, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. if you don't have a foundation financially, then you're going to be right back with us. Mm -hmm. So we try to help get people to the next level and, and move mm -hmm. them. And for your audience, Paula, there's a distinction between we're an, emer an emergency housing program for 90 days and all the wraparound services Mike referenced. Mm -hmm. um, that is different than coming in, you know, in, into a shelter environment uh, just for an evening when it's too hot or it's yeah. too cold or when yeah. you need some assistance. So, um, you know, we really partner with these clients mm -hmm. and they are committed to trying to break that cycle yes. of homelessness. Yes, yes. Um, I understand that some people choose to live that way, that they like that, living that way. Uh, so y'all probably don't have many participants that feel that way. I don't, know, I, don't, I don't know if I would say they, they, they like to live that way, but their circumstances may have created that and have gotten used to that situation. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Um, you know, we have about seven out of ten of our clients uh -huh. have mental health conditions, uh -huh. and a lot of people will say, you know, well, why, why is that person out on the street? And they think they're just yeah. you know, taking advantage of services, right? Yeah. But yeah. at the end of the day, there's just so many people that have these mental health conditions uh -huh. that create, right. you know, the conditions that they're in, right. right? Right. And so that's, I think, what's special about Union Mission too is that we actually have four people on staff uh -huh. that do the mental health counseling. That is, so that we're, is wonderful. So we're able to work with those individuals, put together peer support mm -hmm. groups, able mm -hmm. to do all sorts of other things that allow these individuals to be successful. So so what, um, what do the people do, the men do during the day if they don't have a job? Well, we're, we're helping them. If they have mental health issues, we help them through mental health counseling. If they need job skills assessments, job skills training, uh -huh. um, things of that nature, we help them. And we have men that work overnight, so they're here during the day, they're sleeping. So, uh -huh. you know, it's not necessarily that you come in the door during yeah. the day. There are yeah. times that you come in the middle of the night because, yeah. you know, maybe you're in the hospitality industry and you're open until... Yeah. 11, 12 o'clock at night, yeah. or maybe 2 o'clock in the morning. There's a lot of right? things that, mm -hmm. that we don't think right. about. Right, it could be security, it, it could going be on. being in the kitchen, could be doing most anything around town, right? Well, I know y'all are pro providing one of the most wonderful, beneficial services that Savannah has. And uh, we thank y'all for that. And we look forward to showing you what we're doing I, here. I, I, I want everybody to see it. Uh, so your first uh, guest will come in on September the 6th. Is that right? Yeah, yeah. we're very happy. You know, Parker's House is what it's called. Oh, I'm so glad you called it Parker's House because Greg Parker uh, has given so much to make this project happen. And um, 
You need to get that. Yeah, yeah, I know. yeah. I mean, it's 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 been great, and so we're really excited. It's been uh, we've been working on this for a year and a half. Yeah, so thank you, Greg. Thank you. That's thank right. You. Thank you, Greg. Here. So this is Suzanne, and tell us exactly what you do, Suzanne. I am our marketing and oh, Okay, wonderful. Well, she is going to take us to their mental health uh, facility. So it's right through in our Adam. Okay, States. come on, let's go. Can I stay a while? <laughs> do you have a sofa? <laughs> so this is our main area. Isn't this beautiful? Hello, ladies. Hello. How are y'all? Good. 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 Beautiful, isn't it? It is beautiful. We're excited. This is our new space. Anybody would be happy, happy, happy. 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 And what's great about this space is we partnered with SCAD. Okay. We partnered with SCAD and SCAD Serve, and they came in to help um, renovate this space to make it um, a little warmer for our clients to come in. It was, as we redid the space, it was uh -huh. gray and very corporate and uh -huh. very clinical. And so they added the wallpaper. They actually went through to our um, various programs and took pictures of our clients. So these I are, love these. So these are actual people that these are clients in our programs. Oh my goodness. So you'll see mothers and children, the men. Yes. I love your choice of wallpaper. So they, they did the installation of wallpaper and then they framed and put all these photos in. I'm going to show you one bedroom hallway. Okay. Where you go to the left. And just know that they're installing windows today. Okay. <laughs> but you can see, you come in here, and this is what Mark was saying, the Jack and Jill, the bedrooms. It's typical of, um, you know, a room. Now, it's not completed yet, uh -huh. but um, there are 16 rooms like this. This is wonderful. wonderful. Now, is um, so do two people that don't know each other will occupy mm -hmm. this room. Mm -hmm. That's wonderful. We have a buddy. Yeah, it's a, in the housing space, they call it shared housing. It allows, you know, allows us to maximize the space. It happens a lot in, uh -huh. in homeless uh, yes. facilities. But uh, it's just wonderful knowing that the women are getting a fair shake by being safe mm -hmm. at night while they're sleeping. That's right. Yep. So you're you're here the first day we have a brand new window. Yeah. So we're putting in brand it new windows. It is beautiful. Windows. Yeah. yeah. It's a very simple, uh, simple thing makes a huge difference. Oh, these mattresses feel good. It's 
to and have we've, uh, the window to be installed to do the bedding, to uh -huh. do the pictures. Uh -huh. So, Paula, we, re we redid all the bathrooms. You can this is the I want to see the I want to see the bathrooms. Oh my gosh, this is so nice. And this is a Jack and Jill yes. for these two rooms. That's right. It's wonderful. So what's different is, you know, in the men's program, we have a, a huge bathroom. So all the men use the same bathroom. So that's that makes us even more special. He brings in, oh you know, goodness. more isolated. Imagine. They're in a congregate living kind of environment. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it makes a huge difference. I don't know if you can believe what we see on TV, but uh, I think of these shelters. <laughs> You know, you go in and like at nighttime and there's 50 beds mm -hmm. in one room and they're all occupied. Yeah, we have that across the street, 32 mm -hmm. of them in one room. Wow. So it's, you know, it's just the way it used to be done, you uh -huh. know, that's evolved. Uh -huh. And so this is part of that evolution. That, and that's wonderful. Wonderful. This is very, we very nice. Inside. Okay. So there's uh, uh, six bedrooms and three bath, full baths on this side of the uh -huh. building. Uh -huh. And um, so, you know, just there's two more, four more bedrooms as you go down the hall here. Are y'all going to have rugs down, Mike? I think. Um, I think there's bathroom rugs. Yeah, yeah we're more concerned no. about your bathroom. <laughs> That's what separates you from the rest of the species. And I love it. I love the close to inspire. Yeah. It becomes strong words. You know, you need to have that in Yes. So another day, another chance. Yes. To get it right. It's never too late. No. So you can see the other place. Down this one hallway. And then it mirrors it on the other side, and we'll take you there as well. Okay. Uh, and the air conditioner works real good. <laughs> <laughs> it does. You know, I've noticed the older I get, the colder I get. Yeah. Is that true? Yeah. Well, I go through some horrible hot flashes, so I don't know. Sometimes I can get real cold and say, what's going on here? Sometimes I feel like flames are leaking out of my, <laughs> out of my head. <laughs> but yes, supposedly that's why it happens. But the females might may go the other direction. <laughs> yes, I love these words. Encouragement. No. I am loved, I am enough, and I am strong. Okay, we're just going to show you. We have a new training center, conference center. Uh huh. That will allow us to have peer support groups and conferences and board meetings and all that. And SCAD also, also did this for us. So uh, the other the other piece, Paula, is that all of these rooms that you're seeing, we haven't put the names up yet, mm -hmm. but like Bank of America is sponsoring this That's room wonderful. as an example. Wonderful. Uh, I mean, Greg Parker is the, the sponsor of the entire building. Yes. Uh, but but we have uh, all the rooms named and all uh -huh. all of that. Uh -huh. That's wonderful. So this, was uh, additional. so this will hold a lot of conferences, won't it? 40 people that we can hold at one time. Wow. We can do our, our board meetings in here. We can That's do in-service training. Say, how many people on the board? Uh, 30. 30. Wow. We can push all this aside and do yoga? Yes! <laughs> <laughs> So, real oh, proud. Mental, yoga. mental health for women. I mean, that's not just yes. physical yes. health, right? This is a, a, a really large building. On the other side of these walls is mm -hmm. a fairly substantial warehouse that we keep the mm -hmm. things in for our, mm -hmm. for our clients. Mm -hmm. Donations go there. Mm -hmm. uh, so, it's, it's, a, it's a, a building that is much larger than it really appears from the street. Yeah. Yeah. Like we're we're going to show, show, show you that right now. Yeah, because yeah, eating a, is very We have a central, we have a central <laughs> kitchen. <laughs> Me too. The street. <laughs> well, we have, um, but, but food will be brought over for our clients every day. Parking lot's being currently redone right now, but we will have an outdoor space that winds around for the women to 
to be able to go outside and have a, a space to, of their own. Oh, and beautiful. Wonderful. So, it's hard to envision right now, but it's yeah, coming it, together. Yeah, it is, but um, I, can, I can look at it and tell with the brain privacy fence mm -hmm. and um, some little um, plants and just a little attention. This can be very nice. Yeah, so we'll have a whole brand new landscaping plan. The whole thing's going to be replanted. There's a whole outside thing being redone. That'll make all the difference yeah. in the world. So in three weeks, you know, it's going to look completely different with all... I want to come back in three weeks. So all types of vegetation. So this is the big common space for the women who will be staying here. We've got a big dining room, uh -huh. a living room space. This is extra storage for staff, a beverage center back in this... Um, area is a computer space. Mm -hmm. Behind us is a kitchen, which we have a warming station here. Meals mm -hmm. are cooked across the street over at Grace House. So we'll bring those over here. Mm -hmm. uh, we do have a case manager office, a resident assistant office to give them the level of support that uh -huh. the women who are staying here will need. Uh -huh. So it's on buffet. Mm -hmm. yeah. They get their plates and they come here yes. and someone fixes their plate for them. Mm -hmm. Incredible. All right, now who will be cooking? Will it be ladies that happen to be uh, without a place to stay and are great cooks? Will it be them or will it be hired, outside hired? We actually have two chefs on staff uh -huh. and, uh, and also a kitchen assistant and they make the meals every day. And then before COVID, we had a pretty um, comprehensive culinary program. Uh -huh. We're planning on bringing that back now that COVID is you know, a little bit uh -huh. easier to work around that uh -huh. um, and use our kitchen to train people to work in kitchens and work in restaurants and things of that nature in the hospitality industry. So so we do have people on staff that do this every single day. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Three meals a day. Well, we, do, we serve a continental in the morning and a dinner normally. And then lunch is, is, is separate from that. But we have snacks all day long and people, uh -huh. you know, because most of our people, they leave during the day and they go out in the community and right. do what they're doing. Right. Mm -hmm. so, well, that makes it nice. So y'all just have pastries and coffee we, and cheese. Yeah, and we have a morning. lot of support from local businesses that, you know, Don't Greg make, Parker has uh -huh. been extremely, you know. Oh, I'm Parker. Yeah, Chick-fil-A, uh -huh. Longhorn, Olive Garden. All these restaurants uh, uh, help supply yeah, food, and then we, we we make our own food too. Yeah. So uh, so yeah, so we have a lot of support, and you know always always looking for more, of course. Mm -hmm. But um, you know, with thirty two more mouths to feed, and you know another hundred a year, it's gonna, <laughs> it's gonna keep us busy. Yes, Heather. yes. I'd love to come down and cook y'all a meal. That's we'll awesome. We'll take you up on that. Yeah. <laughs> we could do that, couldn't we? We could. Yeah, that'd be great. That would be fun. <laughs> so this is, then we have a computer room over here. Uh -huh. So we have three fully uh, laid out computers ready to go. Uh, that's, that was sponsored by Infinity, yeah, who is yeah. our computer company. Uh -huh. And then, you know, we got the TV and the lounge area, um, and obviously a dining room here. A lot more furniture coming in over here to use the phone, things of that nature. Uh -huh. And we have case managers and resident assistants will be here because we'll have people here 24-7. Uh -huh. So we'll have people here that work with those individuals um, seven days a week. So. A, isn't it wonderful? Mm -hmm. Such a great opportunity. We're going to show you the other wing. Yeah. Too. Yes. So this really puts it in perspective when you uh -huh. walk over here because this is a lot larger. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, just the whole building space is a lot larger. And these chairs look like they would not just hug you. Uh, they actually do. Uh -huh. So the next room is where we do the no, the folks who resume assistance uh -huh. and uh -huh. you know. Uh, uh, yeah. Or if you go answer their own email, yeah. <laughs> and look for a job. Yeah. Let me step up to the store over here. Which door is this? This one. one. Yeah. And then where is this taking us? This, this is on the other way. Way. This is the horseshoe. Oh, okay. This is all bedrooms. Okay. Wow. Yes, yeah, so you kind of get this, a, from more this, perspective. This hall is a lot longer than the other this hall over there, isn't it? That's right. Mm -hmm. Bedrooms. Because it starts at the end of this yes. space. But yeah. you can see over here, we've got a, all the same a laundry room. Mm -hmm. Oh, my goodness. So they come through their own laundry room. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
It's just wonderful. They, they can keep their things clean. That's just wonderful. And you know, we provide clothing too so when they come in. If you come in off the street, we really, uh, we really do a lot because we need to make sure the clothing they have on, uh, there are a lot of bed bugs out there and other things that come and we have to make sure that they have the right attire mm -hmm. in terms of cleaning. And how would you determine if someone came in and they had bed bugs? Well, we work with every know? single individual. We don't make that determination. Uh -huh. It's part of our standard operating procedure to help these individuals with new clothing when they come in. Mm -hmm. Because they've been on the street and yeah. we, we don't know and you really can't see those. So all of our equipment and all of our bedding and everything's built to resist bed bugs. You know, you don't see any uh -huh. wood uh -huh. and things yes. of that nature because they live in wood. Those, right. those mattresses, are, you may notice, are sealed. Yeah, yeah. Those mattresses. are specifically purchased yeah. from a company. Yeah. Do you have a closet like of clothing for like interviews and things? We have right? a whole warehouse full of clothing. And where do you get your clothing from? We get it from all over the community. People bring it to us. So it's donations. Mm -hmm. Yes, and then yes. we do some work with Goodwill, too. If we have clothing that really doesn't work for us, we'll trade it to them. They'll give us vouchers, and then we'll go get the clothing we need. So okay. either we use that clothing or we work with Goodwill and get vouchers. And that's a great thing, too, because say you're a security guard, you have to wear all black. You may not have all black clothing here, mm -hmm. but you can go to Goodwill and probably find all black clothing, and that's they can awesome. find the uniforms that they need to go work in. So um, that's been a great thing to do with Goodwill, and Goodwill's been a great partner with us. Do you have volunteer opportunities mm -hmm. for? We do. We have all sorts of volunteer, whether it's helping around the facility landscapes or helping the warehouse to keep it organized, because all this stuff coming in is a lot. Mm -hmm. It's a lot to keep all yeah. that organized. Or coming in, maybe we need some help with filing, or we're doing something in development with fundraising or an event. Or I mean, there's just so many different ideas and things that people can volunteer with at Union Mission. And so, How do they do that? Um, well, Amy, uh, who is our volunteer coordinator, works with all the folks that would like to volunteer. And we just call them. Yeah, or the they, can, or they can even go online to unionmission.org. Go and to sign it. up on uh, mm -hmm. sign up online. Mm -hmm. But we have a button on our website. You can click it. You can put in your information, what you like to try to do, and then we'll try to plug you in. In any state, I mean, any city has mm -hmm. something. It may yes. not be called Union Mission, but has something out there because a lot yes. of the people that we that watch us are not from Savannah, Georgia. So yeah, they may want to have an opportunity to help. And these yes. organizations would love to have have volunteers come in and help them because you know they're doing yes. serious work every day, yes. and sometimes some things that you may think at your own house is you know, normal part of business, we're, we're maybe not thinking about that sometimes, right? So having those volunteers really makes a difference. And this gives you a good perspective on how, I, I how wanna, blessed I, we are. I want to go to the hospital and volunteer for the grandmas to rock the babies because I know that's going to happen. <laughs> I'm sure they would love to have that. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. I, think, I think there's something like that, so mm -hmm. that would be. Yeah. We'll have to look into that. Yes, that would that's be right in my alley. So we have ten bedrooms and five full baths on this side. That's mm -hmm. So it looks it looks like what you saw on the other side. Mm -hmm. It's only the, longer. Yes. Right? Yeah. But each each room is uh -huh. very similar uh -huh. to, to an next yes. room. Yes. This is the only different one because it has a different bathroom because of wheelchair access and things like that. Oh yes. Oh okay. And okay. the bathroom is different. It's a so there's bathroom. only one bathroom that's yeah. 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 in the, in this part of the way, yeah. So. Mm -hmm. Oh, is it that's, a that's you know, worth seeing. All sorts of businesses, schools, churches, all So this is the handicap access. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And so. <laughs> it's quite a minute, too. Ah. Um, this is wonderful. This is, yeah. this is wonderful for people with right. um, disabilities. Yeah. That's right. Perfect. Perfect. And it's got a. You can pull your wheelchair up underneath there. That's mm -hmm. great, Mike. It's all code. Yes. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. So you can see why we're clenching them up the window. Paul, I just see that. Yes. Yeah. Uh, 
Uh, so we have 92 beds at the other facilities. We'd love to show you that sometime. And, and I would love to see it. Where is it located? We have 72 across the street from here, and we have wow. another 20 in Midtown Savannah, and uh, wow. we have them from single men and for families. So I would love to tour that. Uh, guys, y'all think we can come back and do uh, another little video Absolutely. showing that style of housing? I would love it. Yeah, we'd love to have you. We thank you for coming today. Oh, it's been great giving yeah. you a tour of the facility. Thank, thank you very much. Thank y'all for very, everything that y'all do. I'm very excited everything. about this and the difference yeah. it's going to make. And when we get extra money, we'll throw it y'all's way. Thanks. Thank you. <laughs> I'll grab you that. Packet. Yep. I'll be excused myself. Suzanne, thank you thank so, you so much. much. Thank you so much. Just so nice having you here. Uh, it's wonderful. You're to welcome be here. back anytime. <laughs>